Hey, Grace, this is Steven. Uh, welcome back. We are, um, again, just trying to, to put some information out there about some of those people that you see on the platform each week on our worship team. Um, and with me today is Mark Varnador. And, and uh, uh, Mark, tell us a little bit uh, about yourself and uh, what you do for a living. Um, uh, you, have, you know, just, just talk to us for a, few, for a few minutes to help us get to know you. Well, um, I'm Mark, and um, you'll you see me up there every once in a while playing bass. Um, and uh, I've been playing with Grace for several years now. Um, I've kind of have a uh, pretty pretty long history doing worship band. I mean, and playing music too. Um, I um, play in a local band. I also play in a national touring act. Uh, but uh, I've been playing bass for about. 25 years and the last uh, about 15 of that I would say I've been doing worship band um, uh, playing in different ones I started at uh, playing at um, St. Paul United Methodist um, at a alternative service called um, uh, The Quest and that was in about 2000 four 2005 did that for several years and then that um service actually transformed into journey church which i was part of the launch team there and played there through uh through most of the life of that church uh it took about a couple of year break um and then uh then that church disbanded and then i was kind of left church lists um my dad's a pastor and he pastors he well he's retired now but he was pastoring at a small church in uh paris arkansas but that was a little far to go and it was kind of a little bit of a more of an old school congregation and i was kind of used to more praise and worship style you know and um so uh some friends of mine um started going to grace and i checked grace out and immediately thought it was great uh probably attended church there for at grace probably for about a year or so before i decided to get back in doing worship and uh so then at the time it was um ashley who was doing the worship leading and uh, talked to her and did a quick rehearsal and then just kind of started playing and uh I've been going, I've been doing it pretty, fairly steady since then, so, for the past, and time's gotten away from me, I'm guessing maybe six, seven years, something like that, it's crazy, I mean, it, time just goes by, you know? Yeah, it, it, it's amazing, the, uh, the connections also that, that you make, um, because what's, what's awesome about, uh, about Journey is, is that I knew Rob real well. And, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah. And so I remember when, when journey was, was starting off and, um, I know Ken also, uh, Ken Lawson yeah. and you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so I just, it's just funny, the connections. And then you and I had classes together back in the day. Well, you know, yeah. At a, at a UFAS. So that's right, so man. Psych, psych classes. I remember that. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. 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 That's right. Uh, and it, I remember when we came into grace and I remember seeing you and I was like, I know you. Yeah, yeah. That, that <laughs> yeah. was awesome, man. Yeah, um, yeah. It's funny though. I didn't know at the time that you actually that you played bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty-five uh, years now. That's so been cool. Playing. Man. Yep, yep. So that's so cool. Yep, and I've been playing in local bands too. And then uh, just this last year, I started doing that uh, Jimmy Buffett tribute band that travels around the country. And <laughs> I had been working psych jobs, and then that came along and. I kind of got to the point to where I needed to take a little break from psychology and kind of figure out some different life path stuff. So I'm taking a little sabbatical and I'm like, you know what? I just need to do this right now. And, and, uh, you know, just kind of travel around, you know? And so I've been doing that. And so you've but, been, you've been coming to grace. Um, let's see. So we've been there for, it'll be six years in January. And, wow. um, Wow. I know, right? I know. And so I know that you were on the worship team before that. And you'd said earlier that you came on board when Ashley was the, was the worship uh, mm -hmm. pastor at the time. And so that's gotta be at least, I mean, and you were there for, I would say a few years before, I mean, while she was there, weren't you? Uh, yeah, it was about probably, I don't know, 
about three, two or three years, maybe. So I would say, so if you were there about seven years, you said? I'll be there. It'll be six years in January. Six. So yeah, about eight or nine years. That's so awesome. Wow, that's I can't. Awesome. That's, that's mind blowing. That's so really, cool. when you say that's almost a decade. Yeah. I know, I know, right? Yeah. So if, but if you can think back on your time at Grace, uh, tell me about one of your most memorable experiences. It doesn't have to pertain to worship, but just what's one of your most experience uh, once, uh, one of your most memorable experiences at Grace? Well, let's see here. Um, I would say one of my most memorable experiences right before Ashley left, um, we did a, really big Christmas deal where everybody did percussion and we were kind of little we drummer boy. Drumming. Yeah. We were drumming on, on uh, some plastic barrels and we did yeah. some little kind of choreography and stuff. And, uh, I was a little apprehensive about my, I don't know, I'm not a percussionist, whatever, but you know, I just kind of rolled with it and did it. And it was really interesting. That was great. Yeah. Um, you know, that was very memorable, uh, mm -hmm. just, just stepping outside of the box, doing different things. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I remember watching that when I, when I first yeah. came on staff, I remember going back and, and looking at some of the creative things that had been done and man, that one just blew me away. It was really, really, really well done. Um, yeah. And it, it, it felt really cool to be a part of that. Just something outside of the box, something different I hadn't really done before rather than, I mean, of course, every Sunday special. You know, sure. because I mean, you're, you're up in worship and, you know, there's a lot of intimate moments that you have that, you know, there's, there's a lot of them, you know, and so of course there's numerous moments like that. Um, sure. But, uh, but yeah, that just doing that. And then uh, that was a memorable thing. And then whenever we did the Star Wars series, you know, I got involved with that doing, you know, when we built the big old fighter outside, that was, that was great, you know, yeah. and, and uh that was no, that was November of my of the first year that I was here. Yeah, yeah, and uh, just and then of course Ken and I we do our stormtrooper deal and we did the video to you know the yeah. the bad advice trooper guys kind of spawning off of Ryan's deal you know and uh, but uh, that that was that was cool stuff too. That was That's great. so awesome, man. That's so awesome. Yeah. If if you had to, which has been probably the most difficult question that I've asked people because it's hard to narrow everything down to just one, but, and so I haven't held people to just one. I've just said, Hey, give me your favorite worship songs that we do and why. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Um, you know, well, glorious day has been on my mind lately. Cause we did the, uh, I mean that, you know, that's without question, just because we've been stuck at home and then we finally got to do that with the video again. Yeah. But that that's always been a great, just kind of free and, song you know that you can really get into um but um you know the one that we did uh with the drums the the uh if you're lost and wandering yeah. you know yeah. uh uh prodigal child you know that, yeah, that lift one, your head weary sinners yeah, yeah yeah that one that one's a great one too mm -hmm. that that one i always was really into i'd yeah. say those two those two That's, right there that's so cool, man. I like those yes. two as well. And yeah. what's funny is Glorious Day has been brought up uh, in, in previous interviews as well, which is awesome. Um, yeah. All right. So the last question, and I intentionally didn't put this on the email just because I wanted uh, off the top of your head type of answer, but um, you've told us that you're part of the Stormtrooper uh, group or troop, I guess, and, um, and that you travel you know, with uh, the Jimmy Buffett tribute band. Um, you've told us a little bit about the history of, of grace and, and how you came to be a part of the worship team. Um, besides those things, what's one thing about you? What's your favorite thing to do? Besides my favorite, things? my favorite thing to do. Yeah. Are you, you talking about just that? That's kind of hard. Cause I enjoy a lot of different things. <laughs> um, yeah. Really? I think my favorite thing to do it's, well, I would say, I don't get to do it that often, but I love to kayak. Awesome. That's, that's that. And then, well, and then of course, playing bass too. Of course. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Music's but always going to be up there. Yeah, for sure. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Well, man, thank you so much for your time. I promised you that it wouldn't take long and I want to honor that, but let me, uh, let me pray and then we'll close. Is that okay? Okay. That sounds great. Awesome. Father God, thank you so much for Mark and uh, just the gifting that you've given him and the ability to use that gift to glorify you and, and lead people to glorify you. Lord, it's such a unique, um, a unique 
ability and a unique gifting to, uh, to, to be gifted music. Uh, it's such an emotional evoking type of ministry that, uh, that we get to utilize in order to bring people closer to you. And so I'm thankful for Mark and his willingness to serve in that, in that way. And I'm thankful um, not only for what he means to me uh, on a personal level as my friend, but what he means to you and, and your kingdom and what he means to grace in our ministry here. Um, Father, we ask that you would just continue to bless him uh, and that we would quickly be able to worship together in person soon. Lord, we love you. We glorify you. Um, we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.